surreal circumstances. Um, if we could start with the Queen, it's been uh, an extraordinary few days here, but I guess the news we got last night kind of puts everything into perspective, doesn't it? Yeah, obviously really, really sad news. Um, someone who gave everything to so many people, um, and on behalf of myself and the football club, we sincere condolences to, to the Royal family and, and everyone who's obviously mourning. Um, you know, a special, special person and uh, yeah, really, really sad day. Footballers often come across the Royals. Did you ever come across the Queen while playing for Wales or anything like that? Uh, no, unfortunately not, but um, I had huge admiration for, for what she, she did for, for so many people and uh, yeah, grew up uh, very lucky to grow up under her reign and you know, she gave a lot of strength and stability to, to so many people. There's a sort of somberness around this morning, isn't there? You can just sort of feel it anywhere you go. Yeah, you can, yeah. I think uh, you know, ne no one's never been through it. Um, she was in rain for such a long time and uh, touched so many people in so many different ways. It's, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a tragic time. Thanks for that. Um, the last few days, uh, it, it felt from the outside that everything changed just so quickly. When did you find out um, that you would be asked to take the reins for a bit? Yeah, pretty much yes, yesterday morning. Um, yeah, didn't envisage coming into the training ground and then uh, and taking training and uh, um, being with the first team group. But you know, football, football's football, and obviously what happened happened. And then uh, just yeah, ready to to step in and help out in in any way I can. And that started yesterday morning. And um, yeah, it was a surreal day, but uh, a great experience. It must have been quite tricky for you just to come in and suddenly change your plans for the day and have a completely different day ahead of you. Yeah, it's very, very much ad adapted to, to 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 the circumstances. Um, lucky that I've been been at the club for for a long period of time and know so many people at the club. So I think that really helped. Um, the group itself is such a good group, and and I've had I've been exposed to that a little bit in terms of the role that um, I'm, I'm doing with the, with the with the twenty ones. And so I, it was fairly easy in terms of that because there's so many good people and uh, the group are in such a good place in terms of what they're like as people. So. I've from that side of it, um, there was obviously, you know, emotions that, that that come with what happened, but they they were so good in terms of um, how they responded to to what happened. Yeah. Are you able to give any insight as to how Graham and the rest of the staff said goodbye? Was there a sort of a handover to you? Did you get any advice from him before he left? Uh, just uh, staff come in yesterday, um, said said their goodbyes, and um, you know it was done in such a, a respectful way in terms of. You know that that farewell part, um, and because of uh, Graham and the staff were, were such good people, I think the way that they they left and they and, and they said goodbye to to all the people that they worked with and built such good relationships with, it was uh, it was a nice way to go. If there is a nice way to go, but um, yeah, it, th there's obviously a lot of emotions that come with that. But um, again, I thought it was a really respectful way, and you know we wish Graham and the staff every success in in their next chapter. In terms of the way this club is run, um, few players have had so much experience than you as a player and coach as to how things have changed over this past decade and more. For four days on from one of the biggest results that Brighton have had in the Premier League, how much of a shock has it been and how are the players? Uh, I, think, I think it's a shock because obviously it doesn't happen too often. Um, that a Brighton manager go, goes to Chelsea and I think that's because of the work that Graham and his staff done and ultimately what the players delivered. Um, it's, I think it's a unique group in terms of what they built and the characters and the relationships that are within the group um, and, and it's a special time at the club um, for so many different reasons and obviously Graham and his staff going to, to Chelsea just sums up what, what was done. Um, but I think obviously whoever steps in next, that they're coming into a football club that's in such a great place um, and such an exciting club to be at, um, and the direction that, that the club's always going has, has been forward for so long. Um, so yeah, I think um, you know uh, change is, is always going to happen at football clubs. You just don't know what, what time that is, um, and I think it's how you adapt to the change. And I said we wish Graham and the staff all the best moving forward, and you know the, the club's in such a good place to, to keep moving forward here as well. Yeah, just final view for me. Um, Adam Lallana being part of that caretaker group as well, um, that conduit between the players and the coaches. We saw during lockdown just how much of an influence he is because we got that rare insight of hearing him talking through the squad and everything like that. How important will he be to help people move on quickly? 
yeah, like massive, massive help yesterday. Um, great, great guy, great personality. Obviously, a, a real popular figure in the changing room. So leaning on ads yesterday was a, was a huge bonus for me. Um, real good advice. Really sort of lent on him in terms of what, what we felt the group needed. Um, so he's going to be massive for, for myself and the group in, in the next few days, few weeks. Um, along with um, Shan, Shannon Roof moved up from the 21s with myself um, and all the other support staff that's already here driving driving things forward. So um, they're going to be yeah, big in the, ne in the next uh, period of time. Yeah. And just finally, um, Paul Barber said in his statement that there'll be unprecedented interest in this job. Um, just uh, in terms of the infrastructure and how much has changed, how much have you sort of seen it? How, uh, from training at a university to being here today, just the, the, how, how attractive would this job be for someone? Oh, really attractive. I think that's. I think it's a, a unique club in many different ways, from from where it's been to where it is now. Um, so I think it's. Uh, I think there'll be so many people interested in. It. I think the caliber of people will be very high, and rightly so because, you know, it's. Uh, a very good football club in a very good place uh, and always looking to improve and move forward. Crofty, in terms of the achievements on the pitch the, during Graham's time, how would you describe how things have changed under him and how things have moved forward? Yeah, I think Graham had a, a real good platform to, to work from and I think similar to in terms of what the the next manager have a really good platform is obviously an even better platform to go from um, so I think Graham was always really respectful of that and in terms of the work done prior to, to his arrival um, and then I think Graham just took that forward further um, implemented um, a style and an identity that that he wanted to implement um, players really bought into it um, and I think that's uh, along with the environment and culture that he created and the recruitment and so many different factors that go into to making the club better. I think he just um, he had such a positive impact on that and I think you know in terms of where the group's at now and the, and the football they've been playing I think it's the best uh, best we've seen at the football club for, for well maybe ever um, so I think that's where the group's at um, a lot of hard work's gone in to that behind the scenes and for so many years um, so yes it, it's an exciting time and did he have a positive impact on you he's always you know very very he praised you very very highly and your group and what you're doing with the youngsters but did he have any words for you yeah he was again I feel I feel very lucky to have been working uh, at the same football club as, as Graham for, for the last three four years um, along with his staff who I've become really really close with um, learnt so much um, probably learnt the most I've ever learnt in the game in the last year um, and that's uh, a lot to do with Graham and his staff um, and what the, the players then implemented on the pitch uh, a real real good guy I think everyone knows what a person he is and what what people the staff were um, had a massive impact on myself and certainly made me grow as a, as a person and as a coach You've obviously been a player at this football club and others, so you know what I guess the squad are going through at the moment. Yeah, again, it's football, and there's loads of different emotions and situations that come with a game, um, and how you react to them situations and challenges um, can help define you as as a group. Um, and I think, um, yeah, it's it, it's what football is, um, and I think the the players have already dealt with different situations before and different challenges, and the group that they are, it's, it's another challenge which I'm, I know they're looking forward to. But um, they've been they've been excellent um, yesterday, and we're looking forward to the day. And of course, you've got the likes of Adam and Lana, but you also got players who you know very well, like Lewis Dunk, Solly March, that. You know, you know the time as a player as well. Yeah, no, I think it helps. I think it helps. It's it probably a little bit surreal for them. Um, yeah, I, I had fantastic relationships with them prior to, to off see this. Um, again, just good, good people um, working as hard as they can to get the most out of their careers and feel very lucky to, to again, be working with them in a, in a different way. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a fantastic group. And not only just the stuff you do here on the training ground, but also you know I've seen you at League Cup games and stuff. So you know you know how the team plays. You must have watched them like several times. So you're you're familiar with the way that the club wants to play. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah it's something that I've loved doing um, in terms of trying to implement a style with a twenty ones that fits with the first team. So when young players um, go across and they're involved with that, they have they have an understanding of what's expected. So I'm very familiar in terms of how we play, what we want to do. Um, been to loads of games, as you said. Um, 
different different games, different challenges, away games, home games. Um, so yeah, I f I'm very familiar with in terms of um, how the team play.